So this video is in the astronomy playlist and this we're looking at how the understanding of our solar system was formed, was built upon and who was the person that started, initiated and kick-started the understanding of our modern solar system. This is the Earth Science Classroom. This gentleman was Nicholas Copernicus, a Polish son of a middle-class family that uh, attended university both in Poland and in Italy and was born in 1471 and died in 1543. This gentleman, Copernicus, was fascinated by both mathematics and astronomy and he would obviously spend most of his time dedicated to the church through his family but had a very large interest in astronomy and learning about the geocentric model and Ptolemy and Aristotle and that was the established norm of what our solar system was with the earth was in the center everything else revolved around earth and that was very well supported by the church and no one really denied that or argued it so he was starting to have these ideas now he worked on previous information that was worked on by two gentlemen about the weaknesses and inaccuracies of the geocentric model and how it doesn't really explain much and a new improved or change of ideas w were necessary to answer these questions that the geocentric model couldn't answer. So he, after coming back from uh, university, went back into the church and started to work on his new ideas, his new book. Now, one of his followers, fans, Riticus, actually published or in secret gave out locally in his area in Poland the first draft of Pernicus' work um, called the Commentaras. And I was in 1514, and scared of any kind of retribution from the church, Copernicus was really nervous to give out his work um, and publicly announce these damning statements that the church would obviously not appreciate and try and hunt him down and probably kill him. So at the time, the church was run by Pope Paul III, and he knew that there would be issues if this new idea's new work was published. His work was on the heliocentric model, putting the sun in the center. Now, the actual book that Copernicus put out in various chapters, and it was actually dedicated to the Catholic Church, was kind of a kick in the teeth kind of thing for them, but it was called the De Revelation Bus Orbium Celestrium, which means on the revolutions of the heavenly spheres. Now this book was definitely detailed and covered a lot of subjects and actually was given to Copernicus on his deathbed in 1543 as a published copy and obviously the church couldn't really do much after he died but the published version was released in 1543 and kind of sparked the scientific revolution. So the heliocentric model put the Sun in the center of our known solar system and it had Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, Jupiter and Saturn all orbiting the Sun in circular orbits and the fixed stars, the, the uh, elements of the universe that were beyond Saturn, which is beyond the naked eye because there wasn't any telescopes to enlarge our view of the solar system, the fixed stars were there present in the model as is in the geocentric model as well that were Ptolemy completed. So by exchanging the Earth with the Sun as the center of the system, that allowed not only Copernicus to then formulate reasons and explanations on natural phenomena that happened on Earth and were visible on Earth, but also allowed for this scientific evolution to take hold and people like Galileo and Brahe and, and Kepler and Newton to really push on with adding math and understanding and formulas to our working solar system and how it worked with the sun in the center. Using his new model, Copernicus explained how the Earth has motion in three different components or three different types. First was rotation on the axis for night and day. Next was revolution or the orbit or the movement around the sun according to our year. And then the next one was the inclination, the tilt of the earth, which again, in combination with evolution, created our seasons. 
And then both solar and lunar eclipses were able to be explained using this model because how the Earth is going to revolve around the Sun at the same time the Moon rolls around the Earth, that would give a good explanation on how these shadows are cast in different ways and methods based on whether it's a solar eclipse or a lunar eclipse and which is blocking the sunlight in different times based on the motion around the Sun. He stated that the orbits were still circular, which is the same as the geocentric model. However, he established that Earth was just a planet on the orbit around the Sun, and that he noticed that space and the distances and basically the brightness of stars means that the stars and space are a lot further away than were first thought of in the geocentric model. That it, the space in the heavenly, heavenly sphere is a lot larger than first projected or first thought. He did make statements that both the geocentric model, including Ptolemy and Aristotle, were inaccurate, and he did state in his book the different inaccuracies that he found, and that's why the sun in the center makes a lot more sense, both in terms of answering these phenomena like eclipses, but also to look at the inaccuracies of the geocentric model. He knew that the church would be angered because then it took away the importance of man and Earth being the center of the system. And last but not least, he devised putting the sun in the center that allowed for retrograde motion or the apparent motion of a planet like Mars that was now in the correct order. It's further away from the sun. Earth is closer. Therefore, the orbital periods are different. The velocity is different. That would explain retrograde motion and how there is an apparent or an illusion of this loop caused by Mars every 2.1 years because of how Earth and Mars are orbiting the Sun. Now this is an illusion and Copernicus stated that the epicycles that the Greeks used to explain this strange loop was inaccurate and because the Earth was not in the right place and the system was not correctly formulated having the Sun in the center. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Like more on this content, please check out my channel.